Hi and welcome to a new video. In this video I'm actually going to do a review of this uh, Wi-Fi extender or repeater. Um, so this is a, one of the cheapest ones I could find on uh, Amazon UK um, and it was only £9. So the, the brand is uh, BEBSR. Um, so on the actual uh, listing on the uh, in Amazon, so I'll put that in the description, uh, a link to the actual page where I've got it. As I said, it's only it was only nine pound, and it came with free one day Prime. So this is just for a basic Wi-Fi extender repeater, and this is a uh, Wi-Fi four, so uh, it has the two point four and the five gigahertz frequency. Even though some of the documentation uh, actually just says two point four, so we'll give that a test later on. Just actually see if it does uh, support two point four and five gigahertz. Um, but to be honest, I only needed it for 2.4, so this is why I um, actually uh, went for it and tested it. And it also, it does have uh, an Ethernet port in there. Again, it doesn't give any specifics uh, around if it's a uh, hundred or gig um, Ethernet. But I'm predicting at nine pound, it's going to be uh, probably supporting the 2.4, and it goes up to 300 megabits per second. So that's uh, Wi-Fi uh, for a wireless N. Uh, standard and also it'd probably be um, just a hundred uh, meg uh, Ethernet port, but that's perfect for what I need it for and for nine pounds I it literally is just it's nice uh, cheap and cheerful So you can see it comes in a nice standard uh, packaging So okay, it came here as well for nine pound. You can't really moan It does say here about the 2.4 and the 5.8 gigahertz. So we'll, uh, we'll We'll test the 2.4 and the 5 uh, gigahertz uh, frequencies does say up to 1200 uh, megabits per second high speed again it's got the uh, 300 uh, uh, on the actual listing on the website um, on the Amazon page and it says it on the top here so it does uh, take that with a pinch of salt until we test it again the aerials has got plenty of them for for extending the uh, repeating the Wi-Fi and again here it does say it's a hundred uh, megabits per second uh, LAN WAN port there as well so you've got a LAN port so it is a hundred I didn't think it would be uh, one gig again the packaging as you can see here it basically just tells you about the um, Wi-Fi repeater and what it does is that you've got the uh, Wi-Fi uh, your normal uh, router or router you have in your home and then you can put this so I was planning to put this in the garden and what this will do is basically uh, this will take the Wi-Fi uh, router signal, so your uh, channel that you've got set up, so say your Wi-Fi name is uh, uh, Wi-Fi example, um, and then that will basically repeat the Wi-Fi example name, your Wi-Fi uh, na network name, and just repeat that out, and then it will basically extend it out. Again, it's not for super fast speeds using an extender or repeater like that. A mesh network is far superior um, to this, but if you just want a basic... A Wi-Fi repeater or extender then this will do the job and just like I want to do I'm just putting in a waterproof box outside so my uh, Wi-Fi lights and everything else can work as my Wi-Fi signal sometimes doesn't go all the way out then and when I'm testing many routers all the time in and out it's uh, always good to have a backup out there uh, using uh, a just a repeater like this and for nine pounds as I said you can't really go wrong so as we see here um, packaging here so again it's it's not bad i mean for a nine pound i wasn't expecting too much you've got there about their customer service so you've got some contact details and everything else so that's good to see uh, they include you do have a manual here so it does say about the single frequency 2.4 um, and then you've got the leds so you can see here as well um, you have the power signal led and there's a wps button as well uh, the repeater uh, LED and then the LAN so that's your Ethernet port uh, LED as well and there's also a WPS and a reset button on the side uh, so you can see here it's got everything that you actually need and as I said for nine pound uh, you can't go wrong it does have the instructions here so you can go along and it basically explains to you how you set it up and it is quite straightforward um, and you've got a QR code there as well but again as I said it's, it's quite straightforward for the setup because it's just going to be repeating um, what your actual network is and you can do this on your mobile phone you don't need a desktop to actually set this up um, so here's the actual device itself as I said it's quite straightforward it just comes with uh, this here 
there's, there's nothing else in the box it doesn't come with any ethernet cables or anything like that but if you're like me you've got plenty of cables hanging around as well so you don't need another one uh, uh, taking up room and everything else in the drawers so uh, it's uh, it's fine for me and everything else so as you can see here um, it is got four antennas here so it's quite light um, and as I said I'm just literally just using this for the uh, outside to repeat the uh, signal so if I just take this off uh, you'll be able to see so as we said you got the power uh, LED the WPS LED uh, your extender or repeater uh, LED um, and then also the LAN so as I said these are ex I don't think you can remove them so they're non removable but you can actually you can move them around and adjust them if you want to for a stronger signal or if you're like me you're putting it in like a waterproof outside box it's quite good to have them uh, lie down and I can raise some of these ones as well just for a, see if you can get a bit of a better signal and things like that. But of course, you just got to remember you're plugging it into uh, the wall here. Okay, of course, this has got the UK plug uh, version on it. So as we said, this is the LEDs. Again, it's uh, made of plastic, so I wouldn't expect anything more for £9. You have here the actual uh, button here. So that's for the WPS setup and for the uh, reset as well. Then you have your uh, ethernet port on the bottom here as well, so it's quite good. And again on the back, it's very straightforward. You've got our UK plug, and also it just gives you the IP address you need to type in to get it set up, and then the password uh, that you've got here as well. As I say, it's got some ventilation as well, but I don't presume this is gonna get too hot as well. It's very light and it's plastic, so it's perfect for my needs and everything else for putting it outside. Again, if you need a, a, a cheap, uh, um, a very inexpensive extender or repeater for your Wi-Fi, um, then uh, you know this is, seems perfect to me. Um, of course, this is not going to be super fast, but I don't need it to be that for that situation. So yeah, as I said, this is really quite straightforward uh, repeater and everything else. So what we'll do now is we'll just go on to how to set this up. Again, all you have to do is literally just plug it in. Um, and then you can use your mobile or your desktop computer to connect to its Wi-Fi and then you just type in the IP address um, and then the password as well that is basically on the back of your label. Yours might be a bit different but this one has an IP address of 192.168.11.1 and the password is no. Um, so you're probably going to have a blank password so it's going to be open what it actually means. So I'll plug this in and we'll move on to actually how we can actually get this set up uh, and how easy it is. So now I've plugged in uh, the Wi-Fi repeater. I haven't pushed any buttons or anything. Um, I just gave it a few minutes for it to load up and it's now got the green uh, power light on. And what I've done is just gone to my computer, but on your means you could use your device as your tablet or your phone. And you just go to your Wi-Fi settings and then you will just look for the uh, actual repeater so you'll look for the Wi-Fi name it normally will have repeater and then underscore and it will have a random letters and numbers you just connect to that there's no password required because it's open and you'll see once you connect it should automatically uh, load this screen here it's like a login screen to get it set up if it doesn't again like I said to you um, in the beginning of the video there's an IP address on the back of the plug so mine was uh, you, you type in up the top of your browser, you type in 192.168.11.1. And of course, just double check that number. That's, uh, it might be different on yours. Uh, so just double check that. You type that in and it should come to this same screen. And so once you've got here, you've got a choice of uh, English or Chinese. Um, and then you just click on Login. You can see here the different options that it's giving to you currently. So uh, you have here repeater mode. So this is your router. Then you have the uh, extender or repeater in the middle and then you have your devices. So this is going to be normal. How are we going to extend it? Most people they want to extend their Wi-Fi. So in my instance, as I said, I want to extend my Wi-Fi out into the garden uh, just for very basic uh, Wi-Fi lights. So or I don't need a super fast connection. So what I'm just going to do is use this one. So this will be my Asus router. Uh, this will really then repeat that Wi-Fi name uh, and details. And that will this will be my outside lights. There'll be nothing else connecting to it. 
But again, in your instance, you might have this uh, connecting. And don't forget, this is not going to be for super performance items. So don't be connecting your gaming PC or anything inspecting super fast speeds. Even if it's just for outside and you're having a barbecue or something and you want people to access your Wi-Fi, then this is probably just good enough as well. Uh, but if you have lots of people streaming and children connecting their tablets, then this probably uh, will struggle. Then uh, you've got the AP mode as the next mode. So as you can see here, you can actually connect by Ethernet uh, cable. So if you want even faster speeds, you can just connect an Ethernet from your router all the way to the repeater. And then that will repeat the Wi-Fi signal that it's receiving by the Ethernet. Again, this is the fastest option um, if you do want to uh, use this. Um, but again, the only disadvantage is you're going to have to have an Ethernet cable uh, actually uh, long enough around your house or to the outside. So it's not uh, feasible for most people. But if you're lucky enough, then there's the option there. So once you want the option that you want to actually do, so we just click on next. You'll start seeing it's actually going to scan all the Wi-Fi uh, networks around uh, where you are. So we will just give it a minute. You'll start seeing all the networks. So again, as you can see here, it's connected and found my uh, local network and it's on the 2.4 uh, gigahertz band. So as I said before, it was a bit confusing because it was saying it can find uh, 5 and uh, 2.4. But I do believe for this price and then from the literature, it is only 2.4 uh, gigahertz frequency uh, that you can extend or repeat here. Uh, I can try and refresh again to see if it finds any of the 5. But uh, for this money, I wasn't really expecting it to have 5 uh, gigahertz band either. Um, so you can see here it's just finding the 2.4s. Um, so that's fine and that's what I want. So as you can see here, I can then just select which network I want to repeat. I do have the manual setup option. So if you can't find it for some reason or under your your very security conscious, you've hidden your Wi-Fi uh, details, you can click here on the manual setup and then manually enter the Wi-Fi name and of course the password and probably the encryption type as well. So you can have those details and then you can put them in there and it will connect manually there. Again, there's the refresh button and you can go back as well. So you can see here now I just click on to the Wi-Fi name. So I just click on there. It will give you the actual SSID. So that's the Wi-Fi name you've got here. And now you just type in the password for your Wi-Fi. You can see here to check uh, to modify the wireless name or the Wi-Fi extender. Um, so basically, if you don't tick this, it's just going to repeat the same Wi-Fi name. But if you want to distinguish this one, you can click here. And you can see here now it's taken the Wi-Fi name and it's added the extension uh, basically EXT onto the end of your Wi-Fi name. So this is quite good if you want to distinguish when you're connecting devices to it. And sometimes I'd recommend probably if you are going to extend that is to probably not have the same name. Um, it, it does make life easier if you keep the name the same because uh, the devices should in theory just uh, drop off the one that's furthest from and can reconnect to the closest um, but again if you're in my situation then I just want certain uh, one device connecting I just want to distinguish that it's that one here so that I don't connect my other normal 2.4 gigahertz band devices to this uh, one accidentally because this one will be much slower than my usual Asus router so again you type in your password here you click on next um, and then uh, if I actually uh, connect. So I'll just type in the actual name and password. If you do accidentally type in anything wrong with your uh, the details, uh, you can see here, if you just type in your password, then click next. You'll see here, basically, it'll just confirm the details. It's extending the Wi-Fi. This is your network name. It's adding the uh, extension EXT to the name and then your password and then you just click finish. So once you click finish, it's set up is complete. It will reconnect uh, to the network after 30 seconds and then you can just uh, check the signal as well. So you can see that screen's disappeared now um, and you, we, what we'll do now is to see if we can reconnect uh, to the extension and see what settings are in. So moving on to actually having a look here to see if there's any advanced settings that we can adjust and everything else. By the looks of it, I think it's actually 
uh, set to that normal uh, setup wizard. So there is no advanced settings or anything like that. Uh, if you do know of any other differences, then uh, let us know in the comments for other people. But if I go straight to the router, um, it normally once you've set it up, it will give you, uh, once you go into the login, it will give you uh, other options. Uh, but as we can see here, it just takes you straight back to the setting it up into either an access point mode or into the repeater mode settings. So you can see here, you've got the two options. There's no more advanced settings uh, when you come back here to actually have a look and everything else. So there's only these two here. And again, as it said, sometimes it will give you that warning about it's not secure, but you can just click continue and it will load you up into the uh, this extender Wi-Fi settings wizard where you can then set it up and everything else. Okay, so I hope you found this video useful. And again, I'll put the product link into the uh, into the description. I think they do do a US plug, UK and an EU version of this looking at the box. Um, so, and as I said, for nine pounds, you really can't go wrong if it's just a basic extender. But if you do want anything more advanced, then a mesh system is the way to go really, or a much uh, more powerful uh, repeater or extender. I hope you found this useful. And as usual, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments section. I'll try my best to get back to you as fast as possible. Thanks for watching and have a great day.